here I'm going to show you how to very quickly copy pivot chart formatting to any other pivot chart. So I want you to first get one pivot chart looking exactly how you want, and that can really take quite a long time. When you're finished, right click, go to Save as Template, and we are now going to be saving the template for this pivot chart on the computer. So let's give it a descriptive name. I'm going to call it My Pivot Chart template. And you can see a few other templates that I've already saved up here for some premium tutorials that I've made. And let's click Save. And now it's time to add another chart. I'm going to go over here to the helper. And actually, let me just zoom out on this guy a little bit. And we're going to go over here, hit Control A to copy it, and just create a new pivot table. Of course, you don't have to create a new pivot table, but I want to do that right here. Then just click in your pivot table, hit Pivot chart and go to templates and now you are going to see all of the saved templates that you have and what I've done here is to save different templates for different pivot tables that way I can add a new pivot table and then add a chart double click the template and there we go let's hit control X to take it off this worksheet and bring it to the dashboard and I'm going to paste it right under this guy get the ribbon out of there and you can see that it is pretty much exactly the same. Now you will have to update the title, and if you have titles on the axis over here and here, you're gonna to have to update those as well. But all of the formatting stays the same. And as you may know, you can spend ages <laughs> making your pivot charts. And the beautiful thing, by the way, about me having two pivot tables and making them the way that I did, is now we have two charts, they look the same, but we can control them independently. However, since I used the first pivot table to make the second one via copy-paste, they are still going to be connected to all of the slicers up here. So let's say for January or for just one store. It's a little bit slow right now on my computer, so this guy is not wanting to update. But if I click something else and reset this filter, you will see that everything is connected and we can have different zoom levels. So once again, all you do, make a chart exactly how you want it, right click, save as template, give it a good name, and then go back to your pivot tables and add a new chart. And you do not have to add another separate pivot table. I just wanted to show you how you can make two that are not connected except for via the slicers. And if you want to get this file and see how I made this with the raw data, to the helper table or the helper worksheet and then to the little dashboard I'll put a link to it in the description for this video and that's for the slicer power analysis tutorial that I made